Hi guys and welcome back to our Rebuild in Sutherland 2.0 career mode. Now, in the last episode we did unfortunately get knocked out of the FA Cup, but we did pick up some pretty decent results in the league to help us fight off the threat of relegation. And as you can see right there, we are currently 14th, so we're not doing too badly. And I will quickly show you how this episode is going to go. We have six games in this episode, so there is a lot to get through, but... The way I've worked out, the way, well, the way I'm going to do it in this episode is it is going to be play, simulate, play, simulate, play, simulate. So the games we are going to be playing are Spurs, Watford and Wolves. And we will be uh, simulating the games against Liverpool, Everton and Brighton. Yeah, that's the way it is going to work in this episode. And something that was mentioned to me in the last uh, episode in the comments, which is very true. I haven't been showing you guys the lineup uh, before each game, which is something I used to do all the time. It's just something that must have slipped my mind and I've been quite like hesitant to get through to the next game. So I will show it you like this. From now on before each game, I'll just quickly flick to it, show you the team. It's probably because the majority of the time the team hasn't changed too much, especially for, for quite a while now. Obviously, in the opening games of the season, we chopped and changed quite a lot to see what was the best uh, formation or the best players we want to use in our starting eleven. But for the last good three, four, five episodes, it has been pretty much the same first team with the odd change here and there. But I will show you. I won't wait for the animation on the um, on the day on the game because it takes too long. It just start, we've all seen it. It just gets starts to get a bit tedious waiting. You know, at the beginning of a game, you need to wait. You can't press A, and you're just sort of like, oh god, I'm waiting for the team to come through. But yeah, but anyway, anyway, yeah, this is how I'll do it. So uh, the first game of this episode, we're going to be taking on Spurs, and this is a team we are going with. We've got Pereira in goal, Cucurella, Martinez quarter, Kalaika and Montiel across the back, Billing and Adams in the middle, Foden as the cam, Sessegnon on the left, Sancho on the right, because Davies, is, um, his fitness levels aren't fantastic right now, and Brereton up top. So let's get into this first game of the episode, away from home against Spurs. And here we are, guys, at Wembley. What an arena to start this episode off in. Taking on Spurs, who are doing very, very well themselves in the league. So it is going to be a difficult challenge. But we have shown a bright run of form recently in the league when we've actually played the games anyway. Simulating definitely isn't our best friend. But I'm hoping we can maybe cause another upset today at Wembley. 20 minutes in and not much has happened at all. No shots to report as of yet it has been a really cagey game with put a few balls in the box so has Spurs but nothing um, massive as of yet but we are coming forward now and he's passed it to the wrong player but we are coming forward again it is Billing on the turn have a crack son have a crack and it's an easy save for Lorries to make go on son help him out help him out try and find Sancho he has Dinkin across goal can anyone get their head on it they can't it's clear away. What a chance that was. Go on, Brighton. Go on, son. Go on, son. Dink one in. It's a, not a bad ball towards the back post. It's Sessegnon. Heads it straight at Lloris. Oh, that's quality. It is folding. What a save from Lloris. Uh, pan the ball away there. Spurs do have a corner very early on in this second half. It's the first time they've really come forward. It's managed with you. It's a good... Header and it's been cleared off the line. I was just about to say, the opening 20 minutes or so of the game, it was very even, just both teams whipping balls into each other's box. But then we started to really pile the pressure on at the back end of that second half, and they haven't really shown too much Spurs, but they've really come out in the second half fighting. This is good stuff. And again for Sancho. Sancho tries to dink it over the keeper. Probably the wrong decision. Oh, we could have been 2 or 3 nil up by now. We've made a real mess of this. And it's Spurs who are probably starting to look the more dangerous as well. And they have decided to bring on Joel Osoro and uh, Angel Gomez as well for the last 20 minutes of the game. Can they make a difference of any kind? I'm hoping so because we definitely, definitely deserve the win. Oh, they do break forward now. Spurs go on quarter. Oh, it's been done. A cross goal and they've hit it high and wide. Thankfully for us. Gets Sessegnon in. He has got G Gomez in. Sorry, he does strike it. Oh, I thought he was going to fall back for Sancho to knock in, but it didn't. Come on, we're piling the pressure on now. Someone make your move. Asoro. The touch is poor, but it does find Montiel again. Montiel 
Straight it. Lloris. Oh, here we go. It's a good chance now for Ericsson. And they've scored. And I say it every episode now, but that is so against the run of play. I know it's not all about the stats. But we've had so many chances, a couple of clear cut chances, and we just haven't put them away as well. Oh, I can't believe this. Good football. It's a half decent goal, to be fair. They've just split our defence like there's no tomorrow. It's a good finish. But we're a goal down. We've been in this position far too many times this season. Which is why we are where we are in the league, or where we, where we have been in the league. But here is Sancho now, coming down the right. Could this be an immediate equaliser? He's passed it to the wrong man. It's, can anyone follow it? Oh, Billy and he stood still. It was rolling straight to him. Spurs players were busting a gut to clear the ball. Billing just stood still and allowed them to clear it. Now here is Gomez. Knock it on again for Billing. It's surely now. And Asaro has been swiped through the back from Lloris. And this is going to be full time, I'm sure. Any minute now. And there it goes, guys. What a way to start the episode. It's a 1-0 defeat. I'm just going to have a look at these stats because it's getting ridiculous now. Every single game, well, seven shots to four with had a bit more possession. It isn't like we truly dominated, maybe. But we're having literally between seven, ten to 15 sometimes chances a game. And we're not scoring. We need a goal scorer next season, big time. That's my priority. Brereton doesn't do enough up top and I probably just need to improve my uh, finishing in general anyway. And that defeat still leaves us in 14th, which isn't horrendous, but now we do have an opportunity to make things right against Liverpool, but simulating, again, I don't have the, uh, the best of hopes with this. We are going to be going with an unchanged side, but will it be good enough to beat Liverpool? I am trying to simulate more home games, which has been advised to me. And we do get a win! Guys, we won! We won a simulated game. And against Liverpool, of all teams, and it's Cesar on who gets the goal. But Martin's quarter has picked up a bit of a knock. I tell you what, guys, I'm so happy with that. That is the first game all season long we have won a simulated game. I'm so happy. <laughs> And luckily for us, Martinez Quarter is only out for two days, which is fantastic. That's fine. And as we just saw there briefly, uh, Ben Woodburn uh, is worried about the role of the club. I do rotate quite a lot between Woodburn and uh, Foden and Gomez gets in there every now and then. I probably should play Woodburn a little bit more. I will put him uh, in the first team for this next game against Watford. I'll let him have a crack. I'll also give um, Ampadu a shout in the middle. Or sorry, I'll give Ampadu a shout um, as the centre-back. And I shall put McNair in the middle there. Sancho's fitness is slightly down, but I will put Davies on the right. So that is the team that we're going to be uh, using against Watford. And as you can see, we are currently 15th. We're still all, well, we're all at a level playing field now because before there was teams that were on 27 games, someone 28, someone 29. Whereas now everyone seems to be, or at least the teams around us, seem to be on 30 games played. So let's get into this game against Watford. And can we follow up with another win after that 1-0 victory in a simulated game? I'm still buzzing about that. And here we are, guys, at Vicarage Road, taking on Watford. The all-away games that we are playing today. Come on, let's just get two or three goals for a change. Come on. Oh, this is good straight away. It's McNair, and he tried to prod it in at the near post. Just under five minutes gone, and it's already a very, very good chance that it's fell for us. We do have the corner. It's Davies, and it has been blocked. Can he get it back in? Oh, nearly managed to roll through. Still in the box. Kalaika onto McNair. Woodburn. He does strike one. Straight at the goalkeeper. Go on, Davies. Go on, Davies. He's so direct. Still, Davies. Have a crack, son. He's hit the post. Concession. No, no. Don't shoot, mate. I knew that was going to happen. And he's tapped it straight to the keeper. He was offside anyway. But what a chance that is. That's what we missed in the last game. That directness and that pace and strength of Davies. He's probably been our best player of the season, which I've said a couple of times recently. Coming down the right-hand side now. That's yours, keeper. Thank God. Get it out. Come on, Kalaika. How has he just gone through him like that? Get it away, and it's a good block. 
Defending was poor there. Go on, Mulburn. Go on, Mulburn. Go on, Mulburn. Slip it through him. Yes, it is. It's 1-0. Watford, we're literally just starting to pour that pressure on us. But we broke forward, and it is that man, Mulburn, who wanted game time. And he's shown us exactly why he wants the game time. And he scores a cracking little goal there. And we are in the lead. Come on. Go on, Davies. Go on, Davies. He's driving forward, Davies. Help him, mate. You're running too far away. It's gone in, and it's Brereton who gets himself a scruffy goal. The goalkeeper should have done a lot better than that. I thought we'd messed the chance up when he pulled it back a little bit behind Brereton, but he's managed to dig it out and get himself a goal. That is horrendous goalkeeping, but I will take it. I did say I wanted two goals, three goals, and we've got ourselves a couple now. Get in. It's a great ball for Woodburn if he can bring it under control properly. He does. He gets one in, headed, and it is three. And it's that man who I've been slating for the last two or three episodes. It's Brereton who makes it three nil. I didn't expect in a million years from him to get to that header, especially because it's him. But he has. He's risen above the rest. I thought the goalkeeper should have done. What is going on with the keeper? The last two goals have just been massive errors sorry, from the goalkeeper. It's just bounced off the keeper's shoulder and flew into the goal. It's 3-0 and I'm happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy again. Now I am bringing on Gomez, Riveros and Fernandez as well to give them all a bit of game time in the last 20 minutes of this game. Hopefully they do quite well. Oh, it's saying that though, they've just headed it in. It's 3-1. They've seen nothing in the second half. Watford, the first, don't get me wrong, Watford definitely, pro well, probably, deserve to be in the lead. But we've absolutely stormed this second half. It's the first time they've come forward. It's a, it's a very, very good header, to be fair, by Pereira. He's got in front of Kalanka a bit too easily. But it is 3-1. And there goes the full-time whistle. It is 3-1. That is more like it. And that could prove to be an invaluable three points and that win leaves us in 14th i'll have a quick brief look at the table i want to see where newcastle are that is the aim well it's not the aim we want to stay up i want to see if we can catch newcastle newcastle currently four points ahead of us so that is a slight little bonus that i'm trying to uh i've got i've got in my head if we manage to get above newcastle then that we may as well have won the league but for now guys we are going to be simulating this next game against everton it is going to be a mixed uh, squad that I'm going to be using as you can see it's pretty much our second team as it is named because I'm trying to give everyone a bit of game time particularly in simulated games can we win two simulated games in a row I highly highly doubt it but we shall see come on and we draw two all so that's not too bad we haven't lost a simulated game in this episode so far so uh, yeah I'm happy with that guys I'm pretty happy with that Gribbin and Sterling Getting on the score sheet. But now, guys, we are going into this game against Wolves. It is, uh, sorry, Wolves are bottom of the league at the minute, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Brighton, who, if you remember correctly, were way off it. They were like 15 points adrift at the bottom of the league. And now it looks like they're, they might be able to survive. They've done an absolutely amazing job at we're bouncing back at least somewhat. But it is Wolves who are bottom of the league. The last two games of this episode, we're taking on the two bottom team so hopefully that means something it not doesn't necessarily mean we've got an easy ride but i think this is a squad i am going to go with again in, in fact no sorry i lie i will be putting a uh, martinez quarter back into the squad billing can come back in the squad as well i am going to give woodburn another shout and i am going to replace brereton despite his uh couple of goals in the last game we did actually play and i'm going to give a Madger a shout in this one so that is a squad and um, i'll let it come back up that is a squad we're going with Pereira, cucharella martinez quarter calaca montiel billing adams woodburn davies madja and sesignon as well can we pour more misery on bottom of the league wolves and here we are guys can we replicate that 3-0 win that in real life sunderland did achieve the last game of the season in the championship can we get ourselves a 3-0 win Come on, lads. Let's just do it. Let's smash them. Let's just... 4 or 5 nil. I'll say this every game now, and it doesn't quite work out that way. But I do want a really high-scoring game. 
Go on, Madger. Go on, Madger. That's beautiful stuff from Madger. He is getting caught up, though. Still, Madger. Have a crack, and it's a great save. What a run that was from Madger. Blistering pace. Get it away, and it is headed, and it's trickled in. I said I wanted a high-scoring game, and there has been a relatively early goal in this one, but it has gone the other way. Wolves have got themselves in the lead. Whipped in on that left-hand side. It was a very, very good cross, to be fair. Cucciarella should have probably done a little bit better. Why has he tried to volley it away? He should have gone with his head, and Costa has put Wolves in the lead. It is 1-0. Give it a cross goal. Surely, is it an immediate equaliser? It's an absolutely insane save from Roddy. Come on. That's a great ball for Sessegnon. Come on, you're so much faster than him. Come on, Sessegnon. Keep going. Have a strike, son. And it was blocked. A last-ditch block there. We're pushing and we're pushing and we're pushing for this equaliser, but it's not come to fruition as of yet. Get it towards the back post. It is towards Adams. Kalak is in there. Billings in there. Have a strike. It's been blocked. Still in the box, but it's finally cleared away. The, to be fair to Wolves, bottom of the league, they're absolutely fighting for their lives here. Go on, we'll burn. Have a crack. It's another incredible save from Ruddy. He's been man of the match by far so far in this game. That's a lovely turn from Davies there. Still Davies. He does drag it. What a finish that is from Davies. He's there again to save the day. What a strike, son. The ball is pinged into Davies. The turn is just out of this world. And the finish is just as good. And he needed something special today to beat Ruddy because he has been absolutely insane between the posts. But we have got ourselves an equaliser against bottom of the league, Wolves. Go on, Madger. Go on, Madger. It is still Madger. It's gone straight through the middle, Madger. It is. It's 2-1. Straight away, as soon as we equalise, Madger just bombed straight down the middle and got himself a lovely, lovely individual goal. Get in. The game had just been absolutely turned on its head. Beautiful piece of dribbling from Madger. The defenders did not know how to deal with him, and he just slipped it past the oncoming Ruddy. Get in, lads. Jesus, I can't breathe. Good stuff. Madja. Again, it's Madja. And I'll tell you what, that is the best save I've seen so far this season. Jeez Louise. It's Billing. Have a crack, son. Straight, Ruddy. Come on, get it away. Get it away. Let's not have this. Come on, get it out. It's a corner. Three minutes remain. And it is Ruben Nevers to take the corner. Come on, get it out. Get it out. That'll do. Go on, the messed it up at the back, it is Madger, still Madger, comes inside, lovely, Madger, yes it is, it's game over, it's 3-1, and it's a beautiful finish from Madger, get in, the last few moments, Wolves have just absolutely had us under their thumb, we couldn't get out of our own area, we broke forward, granted it's a bit of an error there from the defender, but Madger had it all to do. He come inside beautifully and just bends it into that top right hand corner. And it is 3 1. Oh, God, guys, I'm sweating. Get in. There goes the full time whistle. It has finished 3 1. And that is the end of that one. We asked for a high goal scoring game. And I suppose we got it in a sense. But it didn't have to be that dramatic. Come on, Fifi. You're going to give me a heart attack, man. And look at that, guys. After that win, we are currently 12th and on level points with Newcastle. But granted, they do have a game in hand. But there is potential that we could end this episode above them, which would really put a smile on my face. But I'm not going to hold my hopes up that we're going to get a win in a simulated game against Brighton. Brighton are still in the bottom three, I will presume. But let's simulate it and see if we can get another victory. Make my day. And it's finished nil nil, which isn't the best of results, but still, we've only lost one episode. Uh, sorry, one game in this episode, which isn't bad whatsoever. We're still level on points with Newcastle, and this is where the episode is going to end. We are currently 12th 
with 43 points, 13 points clear from safety. I would say we are pretty much safe as of right now. Well, yeah, we are safe because, yeah, I think we're safe. I'm pretty sure we're safe. Yes, I think we have achieved safety mathematically now. I'm pretty sure there's only four games remaining. West Ham have six games remaining, though, to be fair. But even Brighton on 31 points, they couldn't catch us even if they won their last remaining games, I don't think, or they'd be at least on level points. But from that, I'm pretty sure that we are safe. So, yeah, I'm going to say it, guys. We are officially safe from relegation. I think that's right. Anyway, I probably got it wrong, but I'm just going to say it. We're officially safe. The aim has been achieved. The goal has been achieved. Now, the next one is to maybe finish above Newcastle. Whether we do that, it doesn't really matter, but we have achieved safety. Now, the next episode is going to be the last episode of this season, which is something I'm massively, massively looking forward to. But let's just quickly look at the top of the table. We have Chelsea leading that pack, and they have two games in hand as well over second place Manchester United. So they have a big, big advantage there. Where United obviously been second, City third, Spurs fourth, and Liverpool in fifth. Arsenal, though, still sitting 14th. They've had a horrible, horrible season with West Ham, Chef Wednesday, and Wolves making up the bottom three. Brighton, as I've only just really noticed, I've probably said it before as well, they are currently out of the relegation zone. That is mad, absolutely mad. But if you have enjoyed the episode, guys, please smash that like button for me. It would be massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. The channel's Instagram account is in the description below, so be sure to follow that for early updates and upcoming content. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.